All right, check this out. It's 6, 11 a.m. Just watch the sunset here. It's a, it's a very nice place here. My friend had booked it for a night, and he, he actually just booked it for the swimming pool. There he is, Mr. Mr. John Tam over here. And it turned out it happened to be a really, really nice place. But I was sitting in this area where I can see, like, the rays of the sun shine through. It's just really beautiful, and I was like, you know, I'm just... Just feeling so grateful, but uh, I'm actually in the process of writing a book, and I'm very excited about it because my business is going to be built on the book. It's the the book's going to be the foundation. And while I was sitting down, while I was lying down, I was like, I already know that. The book is not going to be a magic pill. I've done enough things. I've taken enough courses. I've taken enough action for me to realize that it's going to be a commitment. You know, I'm not going to see results right away. I'm going to see some results, but it's not going to be like it's going to be the catapult for me. Like immediately, it's not like everything's going to just magically blow up and all of a sudden my life is completely different. When I was traveling the world and I found myself in incredible rooms where, you know, just in Tuscany, Italy with these successful entrepreneurs or I found myself at the Royal Versailles Ball. To tell you the truth, those things were cool. They were awesome. They were fun. However... It was a gradual, like to, to get there, the process was a gradual process. So when I got there, while it was amazing, it wasn't like I got into personal development. I was reading books. Next thing you know, I'm in this like freaking crazy room. I had to learn a lot. I had to make a lot of decisions. I had to make a bunch of long-term decisions. I had to be intentional. I had to be focused. And, and then over time that happened I was able to get into those rooms it it probably took about two years of focus to get into those rooms and being intentional and I just want to make a video just outlining that there there really is no magic pill out there you can find people who can give you guidance but what is going to be the biggest needle mover is focus focus over a long period of time I was uh, I was reflecting I don't know like a week or so ago and I was thinking about basketball and basketball really really changed my life when I was in middle school I was hanging out with the wrong crowd um, I think three out of the five people that hung out with like dropped out of middle school uh, dropped out of high school and like there's like one person that I actually looked up to and I wanted to be liked by who uh, last I heard is addicted to meth, homeless in East LA, and I I never forget the summer from eighth grade to ninth grade. I wanted to be on the basketball team so bad that I would wake up in the morning. Just you see, like the sunrise here. Just the sun was rising. It was like it, was, it wasn't rising, but it was early sun, right? Seven a.m., eight a.m. in the summer. Wake up, alarm clock pick up my basketball, dribble down to the park, go out there and just practicing, 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 practicing. The summer, just practicing, practicing, practicing. And I made the basketball team. And uh, I played three and a half years on the basketball team. And on the basketball team, I was around just more positive people. I, I didn't think about it at the time. It just happened that way. Just naturally, I started hanging out with... Asians on the basketball team there were, there were a bunch of Asians and they had their head on straight you know they had good parents who you know pushed college and who were intentional and you know like it, it was awesome but my life changed because of that focus and it didn't just happen overnight I mean yeah I, I put a lot of time in that summer for basketball but before that, I put myself on basketball teams at the park. 
I was I, I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed the process of playing basketball. I loved it. And I feel like I, I during this process of the book, I'm enjoying it. This process of making YouTube videos, I'm enjoying it. And I'm not doing this to try to get somewhere. I'm doing this because, first of all, I believe that I'm going to get somewhere. Yes. But I enjoy the process of it. I am enjoying the act of it. And I had to do a lot of things that I thought were going to make me feel good and make me feel happy for me to discover, you know what, that, that didn't make me happy or that didn't make me feel good. There's a few things that I enjoyed and I'm like, I'm a, I want to keep that with me. But I had to try a lot of different things for me to quote unquote taste the rainbow for me to be like, oh, okay, I, I had to shed the onion. I never forget when I, when I think of, uh, that analogy shedding the onion <laughs> there was a mentor of mine who there were so many layers to him they, like you always learn something new about him and he said someone's like yeah you're um <laughs> someone's like yeah you're you're a, you're like an onion he's like yeah the deeper you go the more you cry <laughs> and I, I thought this shit was so funny so Anyway, you gotta peel. You gotta peel the layers in your own life. You gotta do shit that you think is gonna make you happy, and you realize that shit's not gonna make you happy. And we look for results. We're in, we're in a result economy. But what people don't teach is the process. I remember when I hopped on a call with Joe Paula. She he said, "You gotta." He said. I can make an introduction for you right now that can shave 10 years off your life. But he said, you don't want to handicap somebody by making things too easy for them. And he said, you have to go through the process. And there are things in the process that you're going to have to learn al along the way. And you're going to have to learn to appreciate the process. And I haven't been on Instagram for several months now. But before I left off Instagram, I changed my bio to married to the process. And... The process that I'm marrying myself to, I enjoy, but it's also high leverage. There's uh, just limitless potential through that process. Opportunities, financial, uh, economically, uh, socially, like impact. There, there happens to be a lot that goes into this, but I had to try a bunch of different things. And, and there's a lot of marketers that convinced me that this is... The thing that's going to make everything so different for you. It's going to change everything. I'm, I believe it. I'm going to go commit to this thing. And. No. No. I'm at this stage in my life where. When, when, I, when I did exactly what I wanted to do. I traveled the world. I did all these things. And. I got to the end of it and I just, I was still not happy. I was like, man, I can do, I can do the biggest things I set my mind to. And what I realized where the gold is, was through the process. Was through the process. You, you know, you can, you can build this huge thing that you feel so happy about or you, that you, that you think it's going to make you feel happy. You're going to build this, build this. Oh my God, I'm, do, I'm doing this. It's not going to make you feel good. It's not going to solve what you feel inside. It's not going to solve your emotions. And the the climax is 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 very What's the word I'm looking for? Like it doesn't live up to the hype. It doesn't live up to your expectations. I I don't I can't come up with a word with it right now. I, I imagine you being like, it's this, <laughs> this is the word. It's very anticlimactic. That There we go. It's very anticlimactic. Very anticlimactic. It's very anticlimactic. And at the end of it, you're just like, man, I, I wish I just did something that actually just made me feel good. And that was something that was exciting for me. And something that I enjoyed doing in the moment. And I didn't shave years of my life doing something I don't like to do something to, to get somewhere that 
I don't really feel happy where I'm at. So, anyway, I'm I'm just really grateful to be out here. Um, I already have the title for my book, but I'm not ready to announce it just yet on the internet. Um, I, I I love it. I'm excited about it. It's a really great title. It's a really great title. It encapsulates how I want to build my business, and uh, <laughs> I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. So, so the process, this is part of the journey, this is part of the process. It's beautiful sunlight, it's beautiful sun rays. <sighs> Shed the layers of the onion. So to recap, you got to, first of all, realize that there's nothing that's going to, there's no such thing as an like overnight success. There's no magic pill. This one thing is not just going to change everything for you. It could be very helpful and it can shortcut the time in the process. But if you don't have any skin in the game going into that, first and foremost, and you're starting something new, expect it to take some time. Expect it to take some time. Choose something that is high leverage. There's a potential for a lot of gains. Um... That's why I feel like I chose like to be confident in my communication because I feel the leaders of the world are those who can communicate properly. <laughs> it's funny. I think about the leaders of the world. You think of like <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> you think about like Mark Zuckerberg. Like you, you think about these like AI uh, technology bots. Um, but you know Elon Musk is still an uh, effective communicator, but. Anyway, choosing something that you enjoy the process of, do you enjoy this process? Because at the end of it, that's all you're going to have. When, Even though in basketball, when I played those three and a half years in high school, it was unbelievably difficult. Like practices were not easy. They weren't. They weren't fun. Just running and sometimes waking up at freaking five in the morning to practice and... It sucked, but at the end of the day, like we were doing something that we enjoyed, which was basketball and going to play basketball together. And um, it's a, it's a time that I forever hold in my heart that I'm just so grateful for. I'm so grateful for. And uh, I do like the process of YouTube. I like the process of the book, and I'm gonna enjoy the process of marketing the book and hearing testimonials and uh, people who raise their hand from the book that's created who want more help and who want to continue the journey with me and who are more serious um, and not just that but you know pick something that hey just think to yourself I, I want to commit to this for the next three years I want to connect I want to commit to this for the next five years for me ideally like I want to I want to commit to this for the next 10 years plus, right? YouTube and and, and my book and, and the foundation of the business. And so I'm just, I'm laying it out and, it, and it's fun and exciting. It's exciting for me. And I feel where I was before with my business. It was, okay, I got to do this thing. We're going to make this work. And, and things were working. Like we would get some success. We would see people come in. We'll get clients. But we were just in a... <laughs> We were just in a position where we were, I guess, forced to value the short term because we were traveling. You know, you, it's, it's hard to think about long-term 10-year plans when you need money immediately. It's hard to think about building a long-term business or thinking or having something that or building something that's going to feed you for the rest of your life when... Short term, we got to make something happen right now. I got to remind myself, I'm 27 years old. I got time. You know what? I just have to build something once. I got to build a feeding machine once. It'll feed me for the rest of my life. And it's going to take some time. In the meantime, just kicking back, enjoying each day as it comes, as best as I can. I'm human. 
you know, it's not like I'm perfect. I'm not. But these are these are my findings from accomplishing the biggest goals I've set myself to. High leverage, process oriented, enjoyment of the journey, and find some damn people who you enjoy doing it with.